I'm Nick Baker, TV presenter and wildlife enthusiast, and I'm spending the weekend on Kangaroo Island, South Australia, to discover some of its fascinating flora and fauna. This is what it's all about for me. Less than 40 minutes from leaving Adelaide Airport, we find ourselves here on Kangaroo Island. We're at a place called Duck Lagoon, and the place is stuffed with Australian favourites if it comes to birds. I'm going to be here for a little while now, just enjoying, soaking up the, the atmosphere. But of course, it's not all about the bird life. This is one of the best places in the whole of Australia to get up close with its wildlife. Now, its long period of isolation from the mainland means that species that have vanished over there can still be found in good numbers right here. And I'm excited to find out more. If you come to Kangaroo Island, you just have to see the animal that it's named after. These are the Kangaroo Island kangaroos. They've been isolated from the mainland population for so long that they developed their very own specific characteristics. In fact, they are their own subspecies. For a start, they're much smaller and darker in colour. This brilliant mammal is an echidna, and it's a creature that has to be on every naturalist's bucket list. It's probably one of the most peculiar mammals on Earth. One of only two that actually lays eggs. But here on Kangaroo Island, there's a really healthy population. So if you put the time in, your chances of finding one are pretty high. The guides on Kangaroo Island don't just get you in front of the best wildlife. They also keep you fed with some of the region's fresh local produce, cooked outside on a bush barbie, of course. Frankly, I think we need to walk off that lunch, and what better way to do it than looking for one, or maybe a few, of Australian's wildlife icons. And there's one here on Kangaroo Island that I'm particularly keen to see, and that is the koala. And uh, my guy Tim here is going to help me locate one. Though often called the koala bear, this cuddly animal is not actually a bear at all. It's a marsupial, a pouched mammal. Here on Kangaroo Island, koalas can be found in their thousands, and it's very easy to spot them snoozing in the trees overhead. And it's not just the land animals that are easy to see. Kangaroo Island's sea life is incredible too. A visit to Seal Bay has to be on your agenda because here you can get really close, and I mean really close, to some of the most charismatic and rare members of their kind. These here are Australian sea lions and they're incredibly rare and they have a really limited distribution to uh, the south and west coasts of Australia. So this is about as good as it gets. Visitors to Kangaroo Island are spoilt for choice when it comes to bedding down for the night with accommodation to suit all budgets. And the wildlife encounters are free no matter where you stay. Oh, it's my favourite time of the day. So I think it's time for a little bit of early morning bird watching. Birding on Kangaroo Island is remarkably easy. Over 260 species have been recorded and many are easily seen in spectacular locations. Although there are no endemics, there are 17 subspecies, including the endangered glossy black cockatoo. We've been a bit land-based up until now, but Kangaroo Island being an island means you're never far from the sea. And I'm always one to take the opportunity to go and get wet. Time to go and find yet another animal on my bucket list. I'm joining a dolphin tour led by the experienced local guides who have a real passion for the natural environment. The last time I was in the waters of Kangaroo Island, I was diving with the leafy sea dragon. But today, it's great to meet the pods of dolphins that call this place home. <laughs> Swimming with dolphins, Kangaroo Island is bucket list stuff after bucket list stuff. Rare mammals, great birding, close encounters with endangered sea life and stunning coastal views. Kangaroo Island is a wildlife lover's paradise.